and we're live. Do you know that I think I said a lot yesterday that it was like Happy Memorial Day and in real life it was Labor Day? I even probably have that mixed up, but. Meh. Hi, Linda. What's happening, y'all? What up, guys? This little octopus is so cute. I don't know what I would even do with it. How are y'all doing? Did you have an amazing holiday weekend? Aloha, Ocean. We had an amazing class. Everybody ended up with brilliant pieces of artwork. Except me, I didn't pour. Hi, Pamela from Galveston. Happy Owl, I'm glad you're here. Which that that one? Maybe that maybe it's like six That's that's the how we sound. Hi Jellfish. See what? That's not how we sound. Is this sound okay? It didn't make much difference, it just looks darker. What's up, Robin Herman? Why didn't you pour? I um was helping everybody else. Yeah, Deborah, that's what it means here too. Like another person, like two more people during the class because I feel like some people get left out. Yeah. Because people, you're doing, you're talking, and you're. You know, just feel like you should. Jerry, I will have. Um, are you talking about the artist suit gold? She's great. Everyone had an amazing time. Jerry, I will have that in soon. I did a reorder with them yesterday slash this morning. So I anticipate it. If they get it out quick enough to have it this week. This should be, it needs to look thick. I don't have any buttons. I gotta get another tree. It looks awfully thick. We're gonna make some shot glasses, y'all. How is everybody? Thanks for joining us. I feel like I need some eye drops. My eyes are burning. We got some unicorns. We got some popsicles and ice cream and cupcakes. So much fun. Ready, Kate. The molds work great, Jeff. Yeah, they were at Michael's. We went today. That was our holiday adventure. We didn't go day party. We just went and got art stuff. We got them all from Michaels, but I'm sure I can find them and link them in Amazon if you do not have a Michaels and then around your area. The shaker charms? 
I'm glad you made it home safe, Lucy, Amy, Lynn. Hi, sweet pea. I want to go on a snorkel cruise. Hey, Terry. Um, Eva, I haven't checked the mail today, so I'm not sure. We had a lot of fun with you, too. I'm so glad you came by and hung out with the fam. The class was amazing. Everybody was brilliant. So, I ended up finishing my elephant. Ended up looking like this. And now I have a commission for an even bigger painting, which I will start tonight after the live show. So this will not be the longest one ever because I have a three foot by four foot lip piece to do within the next four days. That's right. Gonna be amazing. Cujo's here, says hi. Oh yeah. Agreed, Pamela. Agreed. So. So what should we do? Should we just do like marble stuff or just clear and some glitter? Clear and glitter. And I want to see about that putting that flower in one of these. Or maybe I'll save that for next time. But I want to like put, see if I can put some of the flower in, in it to see if it'll cast. And this stuff is for sure uh, safe to drink stuff up. <laughs> you're going to have to speak up. Why? They're just saying you're quite soft. Um, I'm always that way. Thank you, Sue. I don't have my buttons. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. We're going to be doing the geode winner and the donor drawing tomorrow beyond sent me a snap ah shaker charm gotcha um clara <laughs> found it um we it's kind of dried out, but I didn't do the like silica gel and all of the things that I'm probably supposed to do. So this is a complete experiment that I hope works out. Oh my God, I totally forgot. Fast study. Oh, super. <laughs> um. This is a shot glass mold. This is a unicorn mold. These are cupcakes. These are ice cream cones. And these are underwater sea creatures. I'm pretty sure this is for fondant. Thank you, Sparkle. Um, technically, you're supposed to dry out flowers and use like a silica gel, or you could use kitty litter, or there's something else that, um, I'm glad you got your order, Becky. Um, or you could seal them with wax, or you could just squish them in between two books. I don't have time for any of that, so I just wanna see if these will, because they're just air dried out, just regular. I didn't do any of the sciencey things, so this is probably not going to work, but we're going to see. And then I have some other flowers that I want to do actual dry outs and like do a rose and see how that works. So the only thing I did to prepare this flower is I sprayed it a few times with a clear spray paint. You can't hear it probably, but it sounds like dry grass. Um, I'm just using uh, 
Um, the quick coat, just because I want to see how fastly, fastly, that's not a thing, how quickly the everything will set up. Hopefully I don't end up losing this resin since we've mixed a lot and it's quick coat. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, Clara, thank you. Thank you very much. She said, here's some money for our experiment fun. So I'm just going to, I just broke these little guys off. Where am I? Where are you? I broke these little flowers off, and I'm just going to drip them in here. And we're going to just hope it works, because that's all I got. Put a color in here. So pardon me for a second, you guys, because we're both going to be reading. I mean, we're both going to be mixing this for just a second. Do you have any clear left? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just going to be casting the color bird. No. So, this resin is FPA safe for not prolonged contact with food. So basically you can put a shot in it, but you don't want to leave a shot overnight in it. It'll still be safe for consumption. Focus. So it should set up within an hour. Can I use this? Sure can. Um, I also read somewhere you could use Mod, Mod Podge to um, coat your flowers, just paint it on. And I read somewhere else that you can use a like spray resin, and I also read that you could use a floral spray. I haven't tried any of it, but I'm getting all of the things to do all of those things so that I can do a full head-to-head -head test for you guys. What's up, Chris Hart? <laughs> well, these shot glasses take more resin than I thought they would. I'm just poking down the sides to make sure I've gotten all the air bubbles out because ultimately that's what makes the flower decay is having air. Um, 
on top of maybe the fact that resin heats up when it starts to set. So hopefully I put enough sealer on it that it won't be a problem. But we're going to find out together. Because that's how we do our experiments. So, Lucy, don't be scared to use a quick coat. Just keep in mind that it waits for no one. So have everything laid out and ready before you attempt to mix the part A and part B because when, when you put the parts together, time is on the clock. Linda, that is a great question. One that I don't have the answer to. Are the pigments food safe? I don't know. See, that's why I was, I wanted to find out before we say that. But I will find out. Like, I would definitely not sell these without knowing for yeah. sure. I think what you would have to do is do this and then pour a clear coat over it. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, right, Jellyfish? You have to be super quick when using quick coat. So. Yeah, you can't forget, <laughs> like I did. Now that that's out of the way, I forgot, and it was quick coat. The mica powder should be fine for sure. Doesn't gel get soft with a heat gun too? You have to be very quick when using the heat gun on your uh, stencils. Because you can warp your silicone stencils with heat gun. No, I'm wondering how this is going to take it. That stuff gets so hot. We're going to find out. Testing toxicity is what drunk friends are for. I actually have a few of those that I can call in to test this. Right, Linda? That makes sense. Could be beyond, but we're going to find out. So, what else do we want to pour while this is setting up? Do you want to do a quick marble piece? Um, yeah, because I wanted I wanted to use the spray paint. I didn't use the spray paint last time. I showed you guys how to uh, how to do the marble. I was wondering why it looked different. Because spray paint. So let's do. I wanted to do something a little bit longer. Let me get that prep. These molds aside, we'll use them later. I don't know how to move this without it spilling. Struggle, struggle bus. I'm here now. I'm driving it. The seahorse got tested. We we molded the seahorse. Um, we don't need to move this because it just, I, I move know. it. I know, I wonder if it's going to work. It's pretty flimsy. So I'll help you out. You want to just take both of those sides? It's starting to snow. Mm -hmm. There it needs to be level. That's pretty good. It could be a tipsy shot glass. Katie, I know you can hang them upside down to dry them, but I really was looking for something that didn't give them that wrinkly look, something that keeps it all true to what it looks like IRL. What? It's 
sitting up those gold, the gold bubbles. Oh yeah. But look how like how janky. Yeah, they are pretty crazy, Terry. So tonight Jeff's going to do a gold marble with spray paint, or are you doing rainbow? I'm, I'm, I want to do the gold. Okay. Um, or should we do, should we do uh, like a different type? I don't think that's a good thing. Mm -mm. Those molds are smoking so bad right now. It is so great, Eva. I appreciate all of the things. Um, that people said about our class, and I'm glad they all had a good time. That would have been amazing for us to do, Robin, but I just didn't think about that. Lucy, Jeff and I have considered doing like other companies do and have like $200 orders, get free shipping. Um, that's probably something I'll look into as soon as I get my reorder from Just Resin and Artisu as like a special. I'm just trying to figure out how to do that on my website. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Hi, T. Thank you for tuning in. Hi, Cindy. Um, Tracy, I don't think we're going to use Quick Coat for the marble just because sometimes it takes longer to do the design elements. Oh, can y'all see the smoke from there? Probably. I see it boiling right here. What's up, Jeff? Thank you, Tammy. I know, doesn't it look crazy? I'm gonna have to sand that part down for sure. Oh God, that's so crazy. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that one did that. Because it's got flowers in it and it's probably just reacting funny. Oh, I forgot. Right, Lori? Hi, Daphne. Right, Ocean? It's bananas. Super bananas. There's a lot of resin. It looks like a lot of resin. Cindy says, I might need a shot glass for hurricane party. Pray for us. We've had crappy weather today, too, but it has nothing like a hurricane. You be safe. Robin, there are hotels close. The closest one is the Nilo. It's literally right next door. And then there's the Lorenzo and the Omni. Lorenzo is so awesome. Very artsy. All kinds of amazing art in there. Decorations and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if you search downtown Dallas hotel, you're going to be close to us because we're downtown. Um, hi, Laura. Hi, Jimmy. Barb, we're having an amazing day. Margaret, you have kids running around at home? So, B, how are you going to do this? You're going to need white and gold and gold spray paint. Are you going to use glitter again? Um, sure. I, I like to do those veins. Mm -hmm. That looks so much fun. And I'm going to use the gold. Oh, did I bring that over here? I thought I brought that gold there that I got today. We got some awesome color brick gold today, y'all. And what I did is I just put uh, the spray paint in this paper cup. Don't spray paint in the plastic cup so it'll eat it. You will have the bottom, uh, you'll be, you'll be sorry if you do it. <laughs> and 
So let's get some gold. And you don't need a lot. So don't don't make as much as you would for you know any other colors because this you're just doing it really faint for when I do do it. Um, oh, maybe I brought it over here. And you're going to use this and you're going to use the raw. Um, the raw spray paint. Let's get some of this white. Um, it should just be right here. Is anybody out there in YouTube land snare glitter? Like I just I I'm pretty sure I brought it over here. You know what I'm oh, I need a, I need a, a roller. Where are those? You need to link these in the Amazon. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put some sure your hands are free from any color. Always wipe your hands off the floor or put new gloves on if you if, if you have to if you've been messing with colors. See that red? You don't want that red on you. So I'll probably just take I'll probably just new glove it. New glove it, yeah. Let me do that. I don't have one from Craft Smart on here. All right, so what you're gonna do is just lay your white down. Nice and spread out. I have to do research because I can't. So now, what we're going to do is you're going to take your gold. What we use for, like, if you're doing a big countertop, we use the ketchup dispenser with the little tip. You just pour it in there and because it gets so much control and you get a nice thin line. But this is fun too, like you don't have to have one of those. And you, and you want to make these lines really thin. And what <clears throat> what this stage is gonna be is you're gonna when you roll it out, you're gonna you're trying to lighten it and kind of make little, you know, little littler veins off of it. This, yes, that's a Michael's roller. Because you can, uh, what you what you need to do is soak this, not soak it, but definitely get uh, get some resin on it so that it doesn't soak up what you already have, what you have down. 
You just want a little bit of saturation on it. If you're working on a bigger surface, you could just dunk that, but yeah. we don't have that much made up. What this will do, it'll just soak up. What's what, up, uh, Missy? What you got. All right, so now what you want to do is just follow your line just to kind of lighten it. Maybe not rolling, but then that's what makes it look awesome. There you go. You're just looking to feather out the lines you put in. Yeah. What's up, happy chick? Sure are, Allie, but we're doing with spray paint as well. I'm so glad, Jody. These, these are just really light, like it's underneath. And that way, you have that really light veining. Let me take another one. Actually, what you could do, and what looks good as well, is you, if you blow it, heat it up. You can roll this one as well, but when you when you blow on it, that's what it gives it that. It's our pleasure, Kathy. That marble look. Get them beyond. Right, Sherry? Isn't it pretty? You see that white rolls over it as well. And you get cells. Whatever you do, if you're making a sample for somebody, remember, do not tilt this. Do not, do not give them that look that you're not going to be able to do because you can't tilt a countertop unless it's, you know, unless they've given it to you and it's detached. All right, I don't need that. I need... What's up, Jen? Uh, and then also you can do white as well. Do, do a couple little white veins in there. Right, Sherry, that's because they're so pigmented. All right, so now this is where your your raw spray paint comes in handy. What you do is you're, all you're doing, mix that up. You're just going to get a little bit on the end of your stir stick. You're literally just going to go in and follow follow your your vein there right in the center. can do maybe a small one here. If it looks like you're not getting any on there, you are. Don't worry about it. It is definitely on there.
Um, Sherry, it depends on if you want something with a luster or a sparkle or just like a flat color. Um, also, it depends on what brand, I mean, what color specifically you're looking for as to which brand I would recommend. Sure does, Tammy Sue. The, the gold Jeff's using right now that he was putting fine veins on with is a spray paint. It's Montana Black Series Gold Metallic Spray Paint. This is a little busy, but it's because it's such a small surface. But it just kind of gives you the idea of what you want to do here. Sherry, every paste that I carry in all the brands are fairly opaque. Some of the Color Obsession ones can end up being a little bit transparent. But for the most part, they're all opaque. Just shoot me an email with what colors you're, you're thinking about using, and I can tell you. What? I'm going to come up here. Like Hi, Susan. You can, uh, you can see, get, uh, do Lucy. Okay. Okay. What? Lucy? Oh, you're on. B roll. Okay, well, you have to switch it. My bad. <laughs> And see, you can see the. Can they see that? Sorry if it's sideways. sideways. They can kind of see it. I think it's that light. It's too bright. Let me see if I can. Let get me get a light out. Yeah. To the down like this. I don't know if you can see. There it is. You see. You see. There's the gold. These lines are pretty thick for for this size of canvas, but you you basically get the idea of what you do. You could even put you know maybe a a little darker gold for the first time just so that it looks like it's really deep in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, Linda, we are going to start having spray paint caps on the side. I just haven't, um, they haven't come in yet, so we haven't lo loaded them up yet. Yeah, I'm waiting on an email from them for when they're supposed to be delivered. Um, Barbara would like to see your um, piece. I know I just m missed a, um, a question. Oh, keeping dust off a poured countertop. When you do a countertop that's already in someone's house, basically they're going to have to forfeit being in their kitchen for like 20 hours because you need to prep it, make sure it's clean in there, and then you have to turn off the AC, any fans. You have to like plug underneath the door. shut all the windows, make sure there's no air movement in there. And then um, after you do that and you pour, nobody can go in there for 20, 20 ish hours to make sure nothing lands in it. And we almost always do a top coat anyways. So that's when we can sand down any imperfections, make sure it's level and do a full top coat. It's, it's really difficult to keep anything from landing in it, but if you prep the area properly, it shouldn't be a problem to keep it dust free for the amount of time it takes for the resin to set up. Let me try to make a different color for you. This should be interesting. I'm going to put this tin in there. 
Yeah, Sherry, you can use Rust-Oleum spray paint with resin. My pleasure, happy chick. Hi, Gail. It's been a while. How are you doing? Oh, let me show you guys what he's doing. Ooh, wee. What? Did I just, I just made like a crazy root beer orange or something. <laughs> Root I just put orange? strawberry. Now I want to do that with the teal. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. I'm making colors over here. That's awesome, Sherry. Well, what? Share with the people what you're doing. No, oh, I'm just mixing in color obsession ink to uh, do that a little bit over. Why is this so... Sorry, you guys. I didn't know it was that far away. Well, that's a funky color. I'm just mixing yeah, I'm tints into the ink. Or into the uh, spray paint gold. Yeah, you can use a like a plastic tarp to like close off a kitchen if it doesn't have a door to it. What is the best lime green? Susan, I have a lime green powder from Artisu that's really nice. Hi Tamara. We're gonna do we're gonna do two different colors here. We'll do the gold, we'll do this crazy strawberry gold. This ought to be fun. Very thin. Look at that. Um, Jeff, as long as I have all the colors in stock, they go out the next day, but I haven't done anything the last two days. But I'm writing your name down right now to make sure. Um, that I send it out proper. Uh, I'm going to use this. Hi, hey Lisa. Rusty, I like the Diamonds and Pearls collection. I will say that the ivory is not as opaque as the other three shades that I have, so it's not my favorite, but it's still really nice. The shimmer in it is really nice. It's also awesome to know that you have diamonds and pearls in your painting, but definitely the fuchsia is the most pigmented and then therefore my favorite of all of them. Brilliant. I know that I risk them turning brown if you don't seal them properly, but I just wanted to do it because I have impulse control issues, I guess. So I went ahead and did an experiment anyways. I'm going to get all the things needed to properly seal the flowers before I do it for real, but I wanted to see how this would work in a shot glass. Absolutely beyond. Yeah, Sherry, um, Janice Stimson with Color Obsession is putting together a bulk order for stone coat resin. I would just message her directly on Facebook. Tammy Sue, you should be able to. I would just make sure that it's flat surface because if not, resin will try to self-level, therefore it'll run and not keep the shape that you you wanted, that you designed. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> Tamara, we missed you too. It's been a long time. How are things? Oh my gosh. Everybody way too much. <laughs> uh, thank you, Linda. I will definitely check it out. I haven't logged on this weekend because of the class, but I will. Rusty, you can't go wrong with that fuchsia. Of the colors, it's very nice. 
Yeah, this Montana Gold, it gets really dark in the resin. We, we use the uh, Rust-Oleum. Mm. Why are the colors so off on that? I, it's got to be you. <laughs> it's got to be your white skin that changes it. Because when so, I'm up I'm front, I think it's because I have all this dark on. Maybe it is because you have all the dark on. I don't know. Seventy. I do not have it in stock. It is sold out. Uh, but I will have it again this week. I have a shipment already in transit to the states to my studio, so I will have it before too long. Yeah, and it separates that Montana Gold. I wouldn't use the Montana Gold for doing marble. You're too white. I know, y'all, the struggle is super real. Yeah, the exchange rate with all that is bananas. Hmm. I know, there he is, moose sighting. Boop. What's up? You, I mean, you didn't miss that much. We did some casting, and now Jeff is working on super tilt. a super tilt. I'm just experimenting with these colors that I made. I, they're not. It's such a weird color. And when you put that tint in your resin, it really thins it out. Yeah, Kimber, I'm sorry. That. that color almost looks like Fireball. Hi, Mara. Y'all, I've never had a for real life, real in real life tan. Driving the struggle bus on that one. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, y'all, it gets really thin. I don't want to put tin in the colors. Tamara, she thin. lives really close to my mom, and they're friends, and I'm sure my mom keeps her busy. That looks really interesting on camera. And also, yeah, my sister's coming home soon. There's a white glob in the middle. I know. Look at what it's doing here. What is that? Weird. That is weird. Look at those little tiny cells. They're just mooey and they're still popping up. So, I want to unmold these. You can. I'm sure they're done. Nope, they're still gooey. Still gooey. What about these guys? They're hot to trot. <laughs> All right. Right, Linda? They love your apron. I think we have a couple of them still available. Thank you. Let's, um... Okay. What? I was going to say, show them on Be Real what's happening there, but we'll let that. It's just kind of going crazy.
pretty sure that's a rule. He's doing a clear ducky. Do you have any colors left? Put a drop in them. Agree, Lisa. I have some more of that coming. Ultramarine violet and ultramarine pink. They're stunning. It's a beautiful color, y'all. Yeah, Margaret, uh, we're still working on getting the colors exact on all of them. Be Real always has. Lucy has the best view and truest colors. That would be this one. Dong, dong, dong. Welcome back, Clara. Morning, Marriott. That guy's going to be fun. So let's take an adventure. It's kind of a. Uh, Let me get the light out. It's, kind of it's so weird. Like, what is that? I've never seen anything like that. I don't know what is going on. Like, what is this? Shaky. That's so weird. That looks like some old school tattoo style waves. It looks like, it looks like uh, zombie brain. Zombie brain, the shot. Oh, I can't wait to make it. Um, he didn't put violet in it. He just... It's strawberry. It's I put strawberry tint into the gold. And then I put the teal tint into the gold. Oh, blue tapas. So crazy looking. Huh. Pretty cool. Very interesting. Got your order, Rusty. Alright. I'll ask around, Tamara. So, we've only been filming for an hour, and this is supposed to take two hours to set up enough to take out of a mold. Looks like it's going to need all of that, because those are shallow molds. Those are still hot, so I don't know if they're going to come out very You can try it. Possibly, Cindy. Oh, yeah, boo. Oh, yeah, they're not sticking. Lucy was spray paint. Um, in particular, it was Montana. Ah. They're over here. A little warpy, <laughs> but there you go. Isn't that just fun? We didn't thin it out to keep the air bubbles out, but um, by golly, it worked. By golly, by good. Oh, wow. And these are matte Look at molds. that. Look, it's actually shiny, babe. 
I see. It looks like a skateboard wheel. It does. How fun is that? That is just fun. Oh god. This looks like some kind of monster. <laughs> oh my god. I think it ate my flowers. Oh, that's what that is. How fun. And these molds are still hot. Um, Maria, the the resin is food safe, but I hadn't thought to check on if the paint was food safe. So I'm going to have to... What you would do is just make these and then just do a clear just, coat. Yeah, just do a, a clear coat with a, like a paintbrush, a foam brush, or um, I think it would be fine. I don't know how how well it would set up though. That's the thing. That's so fun. I'm adding the shot glass molds to our Amazon that you can find. Link down in the bottom. Doink, doink, doink. Doink, doink, doink. Added. They are $8.41 US on Amazon. Man, that looks so good. You can't see that, though. I didn't Man. see that the earlier one beyond, but I will figure out oh, you can see in it huh pretty cool let me see that one just sand it down well I see the flowers in there but then I covered them all up with colored resin because I ran out of clear so struggle less. Yeah, I wonder why this is still sticky. Because it's shallow. But what what does that mean? Right, Sherry? It means it doesn't have it's the reason why it, when it's in a cup it sets up faster than when it's laid yeah. out flat. Yeah, those are very shallow. Yeah, next time we're just going to use a lot of glitter. Tamara, that's what he said. Now I want to find that glitter. Donna, um, I don't think a tea candle will fit unless you found like a smaller size. It's about the dimensions of a tea candle on the outside. So maybe not in this one, but possibly if there's a bigger shot glass mold or a regular glass size mold. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to sand them just slightly on the edges because it's just a little bit sharper than I would like on one side. So before I do the clear coat to make sure that it is all the way coated food safe and no paint is exposed to create an issue, I'll sand the sides down. Hi, baby moon. driving nuts. What would, what would happen? Like, it literally went from there over here and now it's just not here. What all did you pick up on your way over here? Nothing. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, when we get off here, I'll help you look for it. Well, tomorrow we're going to do It'll Put be early candy in the mold then for the clear resin. And we're going to sell some artwork and coasters. What? We're going to have all that prepared. Right. You got to use fireball. We need some fireball, is what they're saying. You can make your own molds with caulking and soapy water. I saw that video and I haven't tried it yet, but it looked like it worked pretty well. 
Sparkle, I'll probably use a 400 grit sandpaper. I have them listed in my Amazon if you just need to see a photo of it. But I'll probably use that just to lightly smooth down those edges and round them just a bit before I do a clear coat. Night, Lisa Ham. Have a great day at work tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't see it, but. It's probably over there where all the colors are. Anyways, um, I have to start on my new piece. I already have this one finished. So on to my newest, latest commission that I have to get done in four days. Will be a three foot by four foot. And there's gonna be a full video. And I'll have a full video. And I did a full video of that piece. I'll be posting it soon. I will brush on the clear coat Linda Pete with just like a foam brush or a trash brush that I will never want to use again. Just lightly whip it upside down and then again just brush it over right side up so it all gets coated. I gashed my hand on resin the other night, too. Don't feel bad. Thank you, Rusty. So, you guys, um, we will be on tomorrow. And we're going to do a... Um, we're going to do a fire sale. I need to get rid of a lot of our work. And we have to get ready for our cruise. So, tomorrow we're going to have a fire sale. And do another... What? Okay, come here. So tomorrow we're going to do a fire sale and do a quick resin piece. Thank you guys so much. He is a fancy big owl, right? Laura Taylor, you worked so hard. You needed to sleep, I'm sure. The image for my next piece, I'll show you real quick. It's going to be similar to one I've done in the past. It's a lip piece. Wait for it, wait for it. Sorry it's so blown out, but it'll be like this. But it will be the most massivest one. Um, thank you, Tamara. I will, I think I'm going to do a nailed it tomorrow. So if you guys want to suggest what we are going to nail, then put it in our Facebook question on our poor people account. Doink, doink, doink. Make sure to join that group for everything that we have coming up. Also, tomorrow I will be announcing the donor giveaway winner and the geode contest winner. So I hope you all can tune in for that. Ideas, what's up? We actually started an hour ago and I got to start on another piece. Uh, the new one will not be a triptych. The old one, the first one was a triptych. Enough Cujo. Yeah, ideas? ideas just joined in. Rachel, thank you so much. Tell um, Hugo that I said, what's up? Look what I got today, ideas. Two dollars, I think I paid for it. He's going to make <laughs> a chain out of it, I think. I think so. I'm going to put some bling on it. I'm going to have her bling it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we will be on tomorrow at... It'll be an early show because yeah, it's early. Tuesday, so we'll be on at 2 o'clock Central U.S. Dallas. 2 o'clock Tuesday. Earth time. 
because tomorrow evening we tune in to Stone Coats. Um, he got that from Michaels. Michaels. I almost said Hobby Lobby. It was in the clearance aisle, 80% off. And I've been wanting to get that forever. Yep. So tomorrow at 2 o'clock central time make sure that you ring the little bell and subscribe so you know when we come on but usually it's two o'clock on tuesdays 8 p.m all other days and then we now he finds it so um that's funny linda if you want to know what time it is here it, right now it's nine o'clock well, 9, 11 p.m., so hopefully you can math around, in and around, and find out what time it is in your area to see what time we're going to be on tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to do Nailed It tomorrow. I will see you all then. Okay, Moo. i got to take him out. We love you all so, so much. Please be kind to one another, and check out our website for all the paints that we have. Also, if you order Stone Coat, don't forget to use the code ATD to get $30 off of your $80 order, making your tab 50 bucks. What? Whoa. All right, y'all. See y'all, Miana. Bye. I said bye.